So after the E8600 testing, I wanted to quickly test this uh, E8200 CPU, which I got some time ago with one of the smuffle boards. I still have all of the operating systems ready for Wolfdale benching, so I thought about quickly testing this CPU out, like see how far we can actually push it. So uh, this CPU has a max multiplier of 8, so it will be pretty much like a base clock battle, whatever. So the target base clock will be between 670 and well beyond 700. I will uh, try this CPU with the Team Finland Edition Rampage Extreme, as my Nismo board from Japan is still wet and it had some issues towards the end. I need to double check everything about that muffle board. So uh, yeah, two sticks of Dominator GDX2 memory, the four I mentioned Rampage Extreme Team Finland Edition and Kimping Cooling F1 Dark, CPU Pot and KPX Travel Paste. So uh, I will push the CPU to like 1 minus 100 to minus 120. You might not even need the very coldest temperatures for this CPU as it is pretty much like a base clock uh, limited thing anyways. So it will be very interesting to see. So I'll just keep pouring, see uh, what will happen. So uh, I will use Windows XP first for W Prime and everything and I have Server 2003 ready for 1M and PyFast etc. But yeah, I'll get back to you with the capture card. So that's the first top score, 17.3 Pi Fast, previous top score by Tapaka at 17.36. Definitely more headroom left, I'm sure. We'll see. So this one will definitely be like uh, a testament to good operating system. So 13.953 uh, at 5320, previous rank one score at 544, like 5440 megahertz. So uh, like 120 megahertz higher frequency, but his score was only at like 14.031. Uh, so uh, almost 100 millisecond improvement yet we had so much lower uh, CPU frequency. So uh, definitely about the operating system, I think. So now I just need to uh, check what's the uh, frequency range for 1024M and we should be good to go. Take that one down as well. So uh, 7 minutes, 31.6 seconds at uh, yeah, only 5.2 gigahertz. So it should be all right, I think. Yeah, just look at this. Speed of light. Yeah, it takes around 435 seconds, maybe. So uh, this is relatively easy. I can show you a bit of the pouring. So uh, 
temperature likes to be at like minus 70 to minus 72. 1024 m at 5320. This is the vehicle, 1.8A volts. PLL is at 1.43. So yeah, pretty simple. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope that it passes so we can move on to 32M and 1M. Valid, I think, is not gonna be possible on uh, this current setup with X48, with uh, air cooling on the North Bridge, etc. But I'm mostly interested in the real performance, in the real performance tests, anyways. So yeah. Okay. 438.031. Previous top score by Terra Raptor at 451. So like 13 second improvement. Let's hope for the. Let's hope that it doesn't crash prematurely. Yeah. So five three twenty. I think I had a very lucky run when I got the sub 14 second run. <laughs> yeah, you can see it's pretty much like a slot machine, like lottery ticket. You don't know what's gonna happen. I think the previous rank one score should be by Terror Raptor as well for 32. No, it's by Ice Power 798 and also Terror Raptor. Ice Power at 5.44 gigahertz. Terror Raptor had very good efficiency at 5.2. So yeah, so Terror Raptor definitely had good performance. Ice power, the German guy, not so much. But yeah, so now 32M and so on. So finally, that's the Superpy 32M top score with the Core 2 Duo E8200. Very hard CPU to bench, like a lot of like FSP related issues. You need to be very accurate, like VDT voltage, PLL, temperature etc so uh, this was just a very quick run at 5 to 40 so 655 fsp times 8 only like uh, 600 milliseconds faster than the previous top score made by Terraptor. Terraptor's efficiency was very very good so it was actually pretty tough to beat his run even though i had a lot better memories and so on but yeah so that's pretty much it so at least i got the score so now i have the w primes Pi fast as well as 32M. So uh, that's most important. 1M, CPU-Z, pretty much no chance, I think. At least with current setup. So this board with this cooling. But yeah, so at least we got something. So pretty good if you ask me. And okay, that's pretty much it when it comes to the E8200 testing. 
I have never tested this particular uh, CPU model before and this is the only CPU among this CPU model that I've ever tested. So only one CPU and four overclocking record scores. I think it's a pretty good achievement if you ask me. So SuperPi 32M, new top score at 8 minutes 37 point something seconds, around 600 millisecond improvement over the previous rank 1 score made by Terraptor, but again his efficiency was very good. It was very hard to uh, beat his score. My biggest like hard time was at, was uh, like finding the sweet spot temperature for this particular CPU and finding like correct VTT voltage and GTLs and the best like PLL. This CPU definitely needed a very low PLL to have the best like stability at those very high frequencies. PyFast was the easiest top score among all of these uh, that I got like today. So my best run in PyFast was somewhere around like 17.1 seconds or a tiny bit under 17.1 seconds. Sadly no sub 17 second run this time around. Then W Prime 32, a few sub 14 second runs at much lower core frequency compared to the uh, Rank, previous rank 1 score made by that German guy and I think my best run was like 13.6 something seconds. W Prime 1024M, a nice 13 second improvement over the previous rank 1 score made by Terraptor. So those were the top scores, so only missing CPU Z core frequency validation and SuperPi 1M. Definitely no chance to even challenge those scores with this motherboard in this current state. So my best 1M was 8.39 seconds and the target is 8.18 seconds. So I'm like 200 milliseconds away and that's a huge margin still if you ask me. So uh, I think, well it's very hard to say that could the CPU challenge those top scores if this CPU was tested on like P45 or on my Nismo motherboard, Nismo Rampage Extreme I mean, with Northbridge on LN2 and everything. Very hard to say. I'm pretty happy that I got at least something and very good experience with yet another like 775 CPU. This is one of the lowest end Wolfdale CPUs. So very low multiplier and very high FSP. So these scores will be uploaded to hardwarebot.org. So definitely check them out if you are interested. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my uh, adventures and my work. And maybe... Uh, join my Patreon Discord channel as well. And yeah, thanks for watching some of my 775 overclocking content once again, and I will see you on the next one.